unusual inspiration for a work of art. Kathmandu's rivers are choked with rubbish, the air filled with pollution, and all this is being used to encourage people to question how art can relate to environmental destruction. At Kathmandu's contemporary art festival, Earth, Body and Mind, they're hoping to come up with some answers. Artists from 31 countries are working together with environmental organizations at the festival, which is spread across Kathmandu. Bringing and involving environmental organizations in this way of presenting the issues around climate change has opened up different ways of looking at how do you reach out to people. So it's how do I interact with nature. So it's about the human relationship with nature and that's the perspective we're looking at climate change from. And it is a wide perspective with a range of exhibits to challenge visitors' perception of mankind's relationship with the natural world. Cross sections of the earth layered with plastic. A constant disturbing noise of trees being chopped. In annual buckets beaten to represent melting glaciers. And feet running away as if in desperation. Kathmandu's traditional spaces have incorporated contemporary art, forcing visitors to think about our earth and climate change. In this newly constructed floor of a high rise, a young Nepali artist has mapped out the path of the river Tukucha, which flows through the city, a river so polluted that no fish live there. One thing which I didn't know is the places where I used to walk, the roads, the houses, the buildings, the complex, the Tukucha actually like practically flows underneath the buildings. As Tukucha was the source of irrigation. Like Silasha's work, most of the artwork in this exhibit have a melancholic tinge. The, the loss of the connection to nature. I think this is a theme that reoccurs over and over again in many of the works. Urbanization, human greed, food security, the impact of pollution and climate change are just some of the concerns that the artists have expressed through their work. The festival might be a visual treat, but it is the message it carries that has got the visitors talking. Sabina Shreshta, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.